Hello everyone, here's Don of Don here again uh, with another update on my War Corsair project. Well, since the last video, I still hadn't had the wing tips foamed in, filled in, wing panels, haven't had the uh, radiator sections all done. But now, as you can see, it's all done. Everything's been glassed. Two layers of unidirectional on the wings. Got the uh, Inlets of the radiators still need some light glassing around the inside edges after I do a little better shaping and uh, the outlets for that. Uh, these were cut out, glassed first, and then yesterday I glassed the whole belly out of it. Uh, so, so essentially, you can kind of see here where this little V was the cover here. I just cut it in half and put it down inside. So, and then this gets a uh, stainless steel insert cover that and a little bit around here for the exhaust heat so <clears throat> but i've got the belly all done now all the way back to the tail <clears throat> both of the wings are all glass now everything's finished off did some pre-sanding on the edges uh, wing tips all done the only thing is this unidirectional cloth when you lay it it doesn't go around corners real well so once you grind it back, you still have some exposed foam here. So what you do in this case is uh, you get in here and you grind out this foam a little bit in. And then you mix up uh, your epoxy resin. And I have this uh, cotton flox material. It's basically shredded cotton. And you mix that up just like you would the slurry mix. And when you dig the foam out, put that in there, let it cure. Gives you a nice hard edge and then you finish sanding it to shape. So if you bang up on it, it'll be better impact resistant than just this raw glass. So it makes a really hard edge. So that'll get done basically all the way around the tips. You can see that's all finished, all glassed. I did some, basically some pre-trimming on the edges here. I gotta cut these out now. I gotta get all glassed in and then there'll be some covers that'll be made to cover up those aileron push rods. Uh, all this fabric gets cut out because that's where your access is to get to the, get to these bolts so you can take the wing panels off. You can see the landing gear, everything's all glassed. There's the outlets of the radiators. And two layers of uh, bi-directional cloth around the whole belly. And it just leaves this edge here that will get ground and feathered in. And the tail, everything's done. It's all glassed. And the same thing will happen here. This edges will have to be cleaned out, filled in with the epoxy and uh, cotton flux. And then this here all gets sanded out, just like on the back of the wings. It'll all get sanded in shape so the control surfaces move freely. And I'll need to grind this stuff off. But the tail's got all, all this prickly stuff will have to come off too. But got two layers on everything. Like I said, this here will get cut off in here somewhere. This whole tail cone will come off and I'll hollow it out. More glass on the inside. And then there'll be a tail lights mounted back here. White light with a probably a strobe. So, but that'll be, that'll be a removable cone. And again, this side's all done. Turned out pretty good. So, that's where I'm at now. So that's pretty much going to be the end of the glass work for this year. Today it was rainy all day, mid-60s. Absolute worst day to glass. And the next thing will be to sand this with some 150 grit and it'll be ready for the slurry mix. And then just got to finish cleaning up around the inlets of these. And then uh, after the slurry is all done on the wings, everything's smooth, then you can cut the door panels out, trim this up better. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, my next step is either start building up a foam male plug mold so I can make the canopy, plexiglass canopy, or cut up the aluminum sheet back there, uh, start fabbing up a new fuel tank for it, or start making the plug mold for the actual engine cowling. So I've got three major components there, but, but the glass work, the bulk of the glass is finished. Uh, all that's left to glass up are all the little control surfaces like the flaps sitting down there on the floor, uh, rudder elevator and everything, which I got back there on the shelf still. Those all, there's, we got four, eight, 
11, 11 control surfaces that all need glassed in yet. Those can wait till spring. So that's the update for today. This was uh, what October 10th, 11th, something like that, Monday. I'll try to get this video posted tonight. So that's where we're at. How much more I'll do to the fuselage, I'm not sure. I may start making those molds for the engine cowling and get a canopy jig set up to blow my own canopy in. So that's where we're at. Oh, and one other thing. Went to a uh, auction, aviation auction, last weekend, a week ago, and I ended up buying a bunch of this chromoly tubing. There's a lot of one inch stuff there, but each one of these lots I got for ten dollars each. Each section of bundled stuff here was ten bucks. Then I got all this aluminum, and there's a bunch of aluminum tubing in here still. That's full of aluminum tubing, ten bucks or everything. So I got fifty dollars there for about eight hundred dollars worth of material. Goodbye. Okay, well that's it for now. Uh, keep your eyes open. I'll hopefully be able to make another one or two before winter sets in. So this is Dino Don out, and thanks for watching.